Hello? Hello. Welcome, Welcome back. back to the Jared and Brian show. I'm Jared. I'm Brian. That was exciting. That was very exciting. I like it. It's good to switch things up every we once gotta in a while. We got to keep it uh keep it fresh, you know. It's we, like, we we got to keep it fresh. Have you ever almost been hit by a car? Close. Actually, I used to see when I I had to skateboard a lot in high school and I would get almost hit by a car almost every day cuz you're just jetting. You're kind of looking. A cop almost hit me once. That would have been a payout. But you almost get hit a lot skateboarding. But doesn't it make you so grateful to be alive when you almost get hit by a car? I mean, like, in turns any on situation this... where you feel like this could be a thing, I would not just getting hit by a car. Anything. You're just like, fuck, dude. Because I there's an appreciation. I want to feel bad when I almost hit somebody with my car. Oh, we're switching it now. But but then I want to be like, well, the rest of your day is only going to be better. My friend hit because a guy on a bike. you get to tell everybody you know right now that you almost got hit. That's fun. And then you also get to go of the feeling of I could have died. So it's bonus rounds for me right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a bonus round, I guess. We we yeah. hit a guy once. My I, I didn't. The guy, my friend was you said driving. It like it was cool. Well, here was, yeah, we the, here was the thing. Uh, we weren't even doing anything. He just like kind of, you know, he like leaned on to us kind of a thing. And was then all of like a sudden a people, it was, fraudulent a, it was a setup, totally setup. And people started coming and they're like, I saw him hit him and all this shit. And we we're like, fuck, dude. Cops came immediately. And uh, we just kept pointing at the bike. We we're like, look, dude, the bike is like totally fine. There's like not an abrasion on this dude. It, it was a whole thing, but it, it was fine. Unfortunately, he didn't get the feeling I'm explaining. No, yeah, probably. That, that was he separate. probably was, that was discouraged that he wasn't able to con you. He thought he had something. Yeah, but the reason I said that is like when we started off and it was different. You know what I'm saying? Like we said it at the same time and then it was emotional. It, it, it like, whoa, 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 whoa. It did the I same. Got, it I gave me. It gave me the same feeling. Like I was stoked. It got my adrenaline going, and it, it put me in a new place. So it was I, like I was hit by a car. It was a good thing. Feels like I almost gave by. We car. wanted to talk today about Instagram. Yeah. They had come out with a thing which has now been said is, is a hoax, but it was about your privacy and the policy around that. So we're going to discuss that and go from there a little bit. Yeah. So my familiarity level with it is a few days ago because see I own a company and I do distribution and uh, part of the part of my customer base is like dispensaries uh, that sell cannabis products and so I do follow a lot of people that I would say are somewhat in an illegal uh, operating it's a gray area to, to a degree it's a know? gray area and, and I started seeing all those people uh, posting something like Instagram does not have my consent to go through my pictures and look at my stuff and all these things and I thought what the hell is that about what is that all about? You know what I'm saying? So I actually asked somebody who owns a, a company called WeedTube. It's like YouTube, but for people, I guess YouTube like kicked off anybody that was weed related at some point. So this was like a solution for those people to kind of have a platform. Sure. But uh, I asked him what he thought. And he said, well, because I monetize the videos, I have rights to them. But, uh, you know, Instagram doesn't monetize, so they shouldn't do this. And that was kind of his perspective. But it's not true. They they own people think that, well, if I hit private, this is my content, but it is on their platform. And when you hit the I agree button, you give all that up. You're giving them consent to basically do what they want. They can do what they want with your username, your contacts and your content. That's all theirs. So they can do whatever they want, whether you hit private or not. I think you it, agreed to it. I think like when I saw people posting that, I thought this is stupid. First off. Like, why would I want to be the person that's showcasing so badly that I don't want you to touch any of my shit? It's kind of a red flag. Do you know what I'm saying? A little it, bit. It's like if you're driving through a sobriety checkpoint and you're trying to get the fuck out of there and make a U-turn, I think maybe they're going to think you're drunk. It's very suspicious. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you just keep driving, like, hey, motherfucker, I'm good. Even if you're not, the likelihood is they're going to at least not think that you're the guy that made a U-turn because you're obviously fucked up. It helps. It helps you know the I mean? thing. It helps the thing. And like me, me and Sandy, my wife, were talking about it. And you said Instagram is a platform. And I, it might be unpopular amongst people I know. <clears throat> but from a, logis from a logical standpoint, let's call Uber Instagram. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me hear it. Let, let, let's make the let's make I'm the let's whatever. Go. If I'm a drug dealer, you're an Uber driver. I'm a drug dealer, right? We're friends. But in this scenario, you're the Uber drug, whatever. If I get into your Uber and I say, hey, Uber driver, I need to go deliver somebody some drugs. You wouldn't say that, though. But let's Does say, that help your case no, right now? Okay, if, on if Insta me? okay, on Instagram, people say, hit me up for these. Nice. 
<laughs> right? That's, that's so, low key. So, that's so low key. Yeah, it's under the radar. Sure. The, private accounts, though. Nobody would know. Don't worry about it. So when you get into Uber, it's the equivalent of you saying, hey, I need to go here and deliver some drugs, which ironically, I did lift for a couple weeks. And come to think about it, I had that scenario happen to me. Somebody told you. Yeah. Well, I, if I was doing it, I would do it. That's pretty smart. I thought about that before, but I would never tell you. But yeah, so and I can, I'll get into that story. Uh, who cares? It's a funny story another time. But as far as this scenario, I get into your car and I say, hey, man, I need to go down the block and deliver some drugs. At that point, you should be liable if you take me, I would imagine, because I'm using your platform. You you know about it for me to go get some drugs. Am so I liable like, if you don't tell me? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, how would you ever have known? But what I'm saying is like, would Uber be responsible for the facilitation of that transaction? If I told you and you did it, it depends on how good the lawyers are. Okay. Let's say there's no lawyers involved and we're just talking strictly from a dichotomic standpoint of, is this a yes or a no? Like, well, I never understood that if I'm driving, if we're just buddies and I'm driving and you have a pipe in your pocket and we get pulled over potentially because you're in the car, I could potentially get in trouble for that. I it's want, in your pocket, so that didn't help my example. I but. want to say there's levels to it, and I want to say it also depends on how high of a defend, of an offender you are. For instance, there's, like there's, yeah, there's when I was younger, I'm 34. When I was 21, I got DUIs. I got two of them. So Damn. before I got DUIs, if somebody was drinking in my car and we got pulled over, they would get a DUI. After my first DUI... That became very different. Now it became yeah. if anybody's in my car drinking, I get the DUI. I also you had I had a friend who who had the same thing, but he couldn't even be in a uh, in shotgun. He had to ride in the back seat for some reason because if he was drunk, not driving in shotgun, he could still get a DUI. Because he has I didn't access under, to the wheel. I didn't fucking understand. I suppose, but come on. If you're drunk, that's layered bullshit. Unless you're in a limo, I think even in the back seat, you could have access to the wheel. I mean, you could strangle the driver. Yeah, I was just gonna say you could do something to the driver. I don't. I think that's uh, not a great rule. So, so I guess as far as like the example, I think it's smart for Instagram because when I saw this, I didn't know it was a hoax at first, and I thought, okay, this makes sense because if I owned a website and people were going on this website, if let's say the website was for something totally different, the website was for a uh, you're saying it enables home improvement. The person. It was it a home improvement it. forum. And people are using this website as a forum to uh, do hitman activities or maybe sell drugs or do something like that. And I was aware of it. I think it it's not really the people's privacy. It's up to me because I'm allowing them an avenue to make this happen. You're saying it's you have a legal or moral ob- obligation to rat this person out? Yeah, so that's kind of that that's kind of how I saw it. Like a lot of people were saying it's about privacy, so that's the first thing that I I, I thought. I, I pulled something different from it. Uh on the same wavelength. I, I saw it as um they're basically saying and this was a portion of it was if you do something, you could have that potentially used against you in court. That was a, a bullet point that they had in this. And that's the same with anything. They now check your phones. Um, in general, whether you had Instagram or whatever, if you get arrested for something, something, a, a big criminal offense or whatever, they could search your phone for anything, you know, uh, contacts or photos or whatever. And it's the same thing with this. If you have an Instagram account and you're posting things that are loud, they could potentially use that against you in court, which is, I guess, the same as just using your phone. So I don't really see a difference. And I think that that's uh, uh, like a little proclaimed kind of thing that they're putting in there just to watch themselves. And, you know, I, I agree with that. I think that if you're using a platform like Instagram to do something illegal, hey, more power to you if you don't get caught, whatever, that's cool. But, like, I, I, I think that it's okay for them to use it. I think they should be able to. I mean, I don't see any problem. I, I don't care it. either way. Uh, I, I just think that, you know, that it's pretty obvious. If I'm doing something loud on a platform that's loud, I mean, it's one of the most popular mediums that there are. So, so it, it's a way to get caught up for sure. It made me realize some people lack common sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I it know did what to you're me. Saying. Because everybody made it about privacy. So, so really the main topic, the underlying topic here is privacy. I mean, we all know. Right now we're talking. We've talked about, uh, you know, during the conversation today a few things. Chances are I'm going to get an ad on my phone for something that we talked about. How? I don't fucking know is listening to me. You know what I'm saying? We're all aware of just how privacy 
is non-existent. It's going away, right? It's, and we agree to it every time. Any any app we use, we agree to it. And if you ever read them, they're pretty horrific. But anything, even just an upgrade on your phone to upgrade your phone, you're not even using an app. It it asks you to basically sign away a lot of your rights. Yeah, like if you get a game app and it wants to access your phone, your messages. What the fuck <laughs> is that? Your photos. And the thing is, a lot of advanced hackers will use games. For instance, Angry Birds. Angry Birds could have been could have been created by I'm not gonna even put a country origin behind it because there's pieces of shit in every country. But let's say that is very l- true. L- let's say there's a, a, a spy agency that is opposed to the well being of people. Let's just and, say and they created Angry Birds because they knew, or maybe they didn't. Maybe they created Angry Birds too and they put it out there because now they have access to all of our phones. Like Facebook for sure is allowing people is allowing anybody that wants to that has access to get all your information, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like it's very easy for you to be infiltrated in this day and age. Extremely. In fact, with the you know everyone's got the dot the 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 Alexis the Alexis. There's one dude in I, I don't know what country, but he wanted to access a conversation he had the day before, and he said, "Hey Alexis, or is it Alexis?" It is, right? Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, I almost wanted to say Siri and it fucked me up. He said, uh, play my conversation from yesterday at 4 o'clock or whatever, which is crazy that they can do that. But it ended up there was a a malfunction and it sent him over 60,000 conversations from the neighboring countries. That's the end of the story. But that's pretty heavy shit to think that this is the expansion that we're living in. And the, the idea that all of our conversations, no matter where, could be transmitted to some other dude's Alexa. That's great. I always That's th- pretty fucking heavy. I always thought that Alexa was an experiment to see how comfortable are people with because I think that people as much as they want to get on some high horse about privacy, it's really just about being on Instagram and getting likes because, you know, I posted people this love that shit. blah 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 whatever. It's like, dude, if you think you got privacy, you're fucking tripping. There's you know no what privacy. I'm saying? Like you don't have any privacy. Like, if you think that you're sending messages on Instagram and no one can see them and they're private and no one has access, you're fucking tripping. You're using a phone to do it first that we know people can access. You're on a platform owned by, I believe, Mark Zuckerberg or Facebook owns Instagram, which we know is the biggest yeah, he, privacy, you know, intruder. That dude's always in trouble about about this type of, right? uh, this topic is a big yeah. one for him. So it's, so it's like people just want to take the moment. And it's funny because after I found out it was a hoax, there are like news stories on it like, oh yeah, people are outraged because celebrities fell for it. And celebrities are supposed to be on the forefront of understanding the platform and being experts and and all the other civilians, we take what they do as like, you know. You want to know a red flag? Wisdom. Giant red flag. <laughs> the, the, the news uh, outfit that broke this story was Channel 13, right? UPN? That's what I read. I thought all they had was like, Maury Povich and Monta Williams. That's, Williams that's all bad. If, if UPN or Channel 13, whatever it is for you, if they broke that story, when I read that, I was like, well, that's already a problem. Why, when, I, when I went to do some research why on Why doesn't Channel 13 just say, fuck it? We're going AWOL on, on real media, on, on like the mainstream media. You mean like Fox? Uh, no, I, I don't think I said it right. What I mean is like, what if a channel that's dying just says, you know, fuck it. We're just going to keep it real all the time. Why don't they? Why don't they? Well, well, they do owned. on the internet. They're, they're owned. They do on the internet, but then it, it kind of gets leeway. Banned. You have more leeway. Like Alex Jones got banned. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, I, I mean, yeah, he says some crazy shit, but everybody says some crazy shit. The from, news from time is the craziest shit. You know? and we're, we're, in a, we're in a world of calling people out, too. So that that's we should actually save that for a whole episode because that's pretty bad stuff. But yeah. So in terms of privacy, I thought it was all kind of kooky that people were even getting this. Man, it's like, dude, you're literally posting on someone else's server using a phone that someone else has access to. That you, you get, have to give back in like a year, right? You, Every, you have to lease your phones now. If you keep your old phone, they fucking charge you more for it. Yeah, so you like, have to lease a new phone. So and, we're just interchanging. And who reads the terms of agreement? If, if, Nobody. If you well, read, actually, I, if, I, most of the time I do. If I read the terms of agreement on everything that I've ever signed, I would still be reading terms and agreement for thirty for the first thirty percent of what I signed. I, I pissed people. Like even went to the dentist uh, a couple months ago, and I, I was reading the whole thing. They're all pissed off. They're trying to get me in. They got other patients, but I'm reading it all. I'm saying I'm not going to sign this part. I'm not signing that part. 
they they fucking dude they hated me my wife had to go in the next day and they were all complaining they were like oh is that the guy who said we were being salty because you know because i was like why, why are you being so salty i just don't want to sign all this shit man just like did they, did the, they facilitate the, the deal with you or? They, they they were telling me that they couldn't do it they won't i have to sign all the things and i was so like what well, did just, you see that made you say no I, I don't remember oh it was saying okay so it was saying basically that before they charge my insurance, they're going to aim to charge me. That was one thing. And if they can just do extra things and charge me for it, even though it wasn't discussed, a lot of things like this. So I, I and I said no. And so I asked them to print it out because they said they, the program literally is programmed to not move on unless I just agree to all of it. And uh, they even tried sending me bills, but I didn't sign anything. So I'm not paying them. But but me doing that, they then, they then had to print the contract and void certain sections of it. So it is possible, but with things like your phone, you do. If you want to use the iPhone, you are gonna to have to hit the terms of agreement. But do read this. I mean, at con- least once, just so you know how much you're being. The fucked. two the two purposes of a contract are to fuck you over and to bind you into that fucking. That's true. Into the fucking. It's like, hey, do you agree to? You might as grab well read that. Pull and up your by socks. the way, number three, no lube. Do you know what I'm saying? It's in the sub. It's in the sub. I was going to ask you if this ever led to you not signing something. You answered that within within what you said. So did they not facilitate the deal or what? Yeah. So they printed it out. They voided certain spots. I said I wouldn't sign most of it. And I only signed to have what I went in there for done, which was just a simple checkup. They tried to have me set up for like it was like uh, almost a thousand dollars worth of more work. Uh, and, and they said that I was agreeing to it. And even when I left, they presented me with the receipt. And to, in signing the receipt, I, I was then agreeing for more visits. And I told them I wasn't going to sign that either. Everything about it was just trying to fuck me. And this was a highly regarded dentist that I went to. It's crazy how this shit works. You can't really trust most of these. Uh, well, you can, uh, but I would read it first and make your own decisions of how much you're going to trust. Yeah. I, I For me, it's a disliking of reading A. Dude, I hate reading, but and it's me, interesting. And me having a huge amount of impatience. This morning... Me and my wife just went to a new gym. I'm still sweating. You know what I'm saying? That's from the gym? That's from the gym. I haven't stopped sweating. It's like taking a shower in the south, man. You just nice. don't you don't stop sweating all day. Yeah, it's terrible. And um, my wife, I just signed everything. Like, dude, let's start working out. But my wife was like, wow, have you read this? I mean, for all I know, it could have said, uh, we're going to break both of your legs. And you signed it. And I'm like, yeah. Totally. But Am I, I going to be buff after all that? But... I think that that's maybe I should start reading. Maybe we should all Dude, start it's reading. It's so boring. I fucking I don't like it, but I'm always the it's the interest. I'm so inquisitive as to why they want me to sign this many pages of small fine writing just to get a fucking cleanup. Just charge me the money and let me go. Yeah. You should just go to Mexico, dude. You could do that too. I mean you should do that. They'll probably make you sign something. It's like a fifth of the price. I'm not driving all that. The 405 or the 5? Good food. Make a weekend out of it. You make know what I'm saying? Maybe make a weekend out of it. So, That's cool. That's cool. so privacy. So how okay are the the, the, the citizens of the United They're States so okay really with right now with a lack of privacy? Because anytime someone puts out there in the mainstream media that we're going to be digging into your privacy, people go nuts. But it's like, it is like we didn't know this. So I think- The laziness supersedes. Yeah. So- I, I don't. I, I feel like the Alexa giving. So I first of all, I feel like people are okay with having no privacy. I think it's just kind of a given. How do you feel? Do you age. have Do you have an Alexa or a, a dot or whatever? No, I don't. I don't. Someone gave my wife a dot, and we just have it. We never set it up. This is, I'm not into it. And my friend has like a few, one for each room and shit. And and I told him, you know, we had a similar discussion, and he just doesn't care. See, I always thought what the Alexa is is it's Amazon trying to see how comfortable are people with us invading their privacy like crazy because they did that they did the Alexa. It's like hey man they're letting us put a machine in their house that listens to everything that basically powers their house this is great and, and then what the next thing that they did is they actually set up a system to where they would put a lock on your door that they'd have access to and they could go into your house to drop off your packages yeah, I mean, and you could even unlock the door with an. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. With one of those devices, you could say, "Hey, unlock my door," or whatever the fuck. Like a that's ring. super shady. Yeah. That's crazy. So they they it. literally want to go into your house and stock your fridge. So I think they just 
they're wanting to see, okay, how comfortable are people going to get with us intruding them? And at the same time, I would have to imagine that the government has some some part in an Alexa being in your house and doing some monitoring. Who fucking knows? I don't, I don't think trap houses necessarily have Alexas. Do you know what I'm saying? you got to be the dumbest drug dealer ever to have an Alexa in your house. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, I could see that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, we should all take notes. Like, if we want, like, to be private, we got to follow the lead of drug dealers, I think. Dude. What are they doing to stay under the radar? They don't have an Alexa. They don't have an Alexa. They, they also... Get a dot. Yeah. Some of them, unfortunately, the aren't phone Instagram. Too. I mean, the fucking phone. So, it's the same thing. No matter what you got, it's the same deal. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. So, and I heard that the next thing that Amazon wants to do, this was from a source that I can't name... I might be making it up. I'm not making it up. They said the next move that they're going to make is the craziest thing that they've ever heard. Like like the next step in what they want to do in the evolution of the customer Which experience. Is? They didn't even tell me. Ah, oh, dude. They, 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 they weren't told. Do you know what I'm saying? But somebody at Amazon. I feel like you just wasted so, no, all no, no. of our Some, time somebody like at Amazon, seconds. Someone at Amazon, I didn't waste any time, told this person who's very highly respected by the person they were talking to at Amazon. That something crazy is because they said, wow, like, I feel like Amazon just getting more and more intrusive in order to, like, figure their customers out. And they said, oh, you have no idea what's coming next. I think what it's going to be is a neuron chip that's in your brain. Because already, Amazon can predict to a 99 percentile. 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 I'm trying to teach you how to say it, dude. It's percentile. Percentith. Percentile. 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 What is the percentile? It sounds weird. What you're going to buy next as a, as a normal buying customer. So if I'm a regular They're customer of Amazon, that. they can predict what I'm going to buy next. Well, that's what all of this is about. That's what the Facebook thing is about. That's what they, All this privacy stuff, we think that they're going to know uh, intimate dealings between... Yeah, whatever. But that, it really is just about knowing what they can sell you. Because they, they just want to know want the more intimate cons- details. Just so they could sell you more let's, shit. Let's say I'm having a really rocky time in a relationship. They want to know that. Because they want to be able to sell me shit to help me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they do want to know everything. Just to sell you the things. Just to sell you that's, stuff. That's the only reason, though. It's like, not that they care. They yeah. just care about selling you things. Because all of these, like Facebook, for instance, Facebook, I don't, it's hard to say, did Mark Zuckerberg pre-plan out the ultimate destiny or was he just someone in the initial journey? I don't know. But Facebook, to me, is just a targeted marketing thing. Totally. Right? Well, I think it's That's all it really is. It started I mean, as just a thing, but I think immediately it was seen for its potential. But but it, it, it's interesting to think, like, did they have the, the, the what is it called, the, the vision, the hindsight? The hindsight. Did yeah. they have the hindsight to understand that this was going to be the case? It would be interesting to look at the data and see was that part of the original algorithm to to take notes on what is happening, or was it just a uh, um, a platform a blank platform originally? Well, because before that was MySpace, and I guess MySpace, if you were if you looked at it, you could probably figure, oh, this would be a great place to market to people. Yes. And, and people, I mean, because it was so uh, customized, everyone had their own thing. You could really just build your own page. You just look at it, and these people would tell you everything about themselves already. And I bet you maybe with the Facebook, they, th- they thought, what if we just kept amping that? Yeah, like, or, or maybe you know that on steroids. Let's see what we could do out of that. Yeah, like back in the day, let's say that you wanted to get a job anywhere. They're going to run a background check on you. Have you been arrested? Are you an offender of any sort? Have you been evicted? Have you been fired? Whatever the case may be. What they do now is they do what's called a scrub on you. Yeah, yeah. And they actually go through all your social media. They go through like all of the information that's out about you online and they scrub it for data on you. So they know everything about you and anybody can do this. Yeah, like, and this like, is like, still really early. Like This like, is dude, really early in this game. Imagine what it will be. Yeah, so I mean... I don't know. When it comes to privacy, I think we're living in an age where you just have to acknowledge if you want to be private, go somewhere indigenous where there's no internet, where you can't be seen. Get a flip phone. But if you want to be part of today's society, I I guess it just sucks, but there's no privacy. And I think that you just have to, you just have to accept that. Do you know what I'm saying? It seems like that's where we are. I mean, even down to the phone. We both, we all have a phone in here, and it's the same deal. It just if someone told you, "Hey, you can be completely private, but you can't have the internet or your phone," I think ninety nine point nine percent of people would be like, 
I don't care. Give me my fucking phone. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be happy without my phone. I don't even know why I care. Because, like, talking about the dot thing, like I said, my friend has, you know, one in every room. I have one. I don't even use it. And he's like, I don't care. What are they going to do with it? What, what is all this information? They're going to well, sell me more shit? Yeah, okay, but, well, I buy this shit okay, anyway. Okay, but if they had the hindsight to put it in your house and to do all these things, who knows? Who knows what's coming down the line for humanity? And who knows what information you're giving it that's crucial to your existence? I'm suspicious, and I think it's shady. But I, I guess if I'm thinking about it... Because what if you're in your house why, talking why about... Why do I care? What if you're in your house and you're like... Oh man, like this world is going to shit. Like all, you're talking conspiracies. You're talking about the president. Who knows? But they're like, hey, Alexa, give us a give us the the all the inf- give us all the locations of people that talked about this conspiracy today. Now we're gonna fucking poison their water. Well, that's what's going on you with, with all this. Uh, this um, well, it's a pretty dark subject matter. But all the, yeah, the but shootings dark. and the stuff. World is well, dark. Okay, well then all the all the shootings that, that, that were going on. Now they've arrested uh, what in the last two weeks it was like last I saw it was like twenty seven maybe thirty people who had uh, posted stuff or had mentioned stuff online about doing this stuff and they and then they they looked through their stuff and some of them were just you know they were pissed off but most of them had things like you know they had uh, weaponry or whatever I, that was about all I had on that but that's that example starting already and I guess and maybe that's a reason why. There, there's the, the double-edged sword aspect. Like, I think I would be willing to put a security camera near my property or on my property that the cops had direct access to because that'd be a benefit to me possibly, right? I mean, that makes me feel comfortable. I know that I'm protected to some degree. My Like, an invasion of privacy feels okay. You mean like the doorbell? The doorbell with the camera? or what something, Yeah, something like that. Like, if, you, if you're invading my privacy but it ultimately will help me, then that's okay because, I mean, this day and age, technology also... Like the like, okay. If there's illegal activities, how easy is it? Ever? It's easier than ever now. Like I wish I was a bank robber 300 years ago. Imagine. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, who the hell's robbing banks? They would even say, "Hey, I, I, I'm this guy from this gang." And but then, the only then, reason that people ain't robbing banks is because the lack of privacy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm well, saying? There's cameras everywhere. It's gonna follow you. I mean, yeah. In Europe, there's like the BBC, and they have cameras on every single street. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if you're there and you're wanted, they could pull up every camera and find Europe? You. you mean England? Same thing? No. Perfect. But yeah, over there, across the pond. Across the pond. Across the pond. So Shout out. So all in all, Mighty Ducks, so all in all, I guess what I'm getting at, and I guess what the topic was, as far as IG, kudos to all the fucking goofy people that posted a, a picture thinking that was going to do anything. The same thing happened two years ago, too. Does anybody remember that? The same exact thing happened two remember years ago. three weeks That's ago That's the days. problem. But the same exact thing happened a couple of years ago. And it was a hype at the time. And then it was debunked. So as far as privacy, what I'd like to know is what's your guys' stance? The, you guys viewing this, what do you feel about the state of privacy these days? Are you okay with it? Do you want more privacy in your life? Do you feel intruded? Are you willing to switch it? Are you willing, like you were saying, to give up some privacy for certain benefits? Because that could be the same thing. They're giving up their privacy for the Alexa to have the benefit of being able to turn on the stove. And I guess right now, like from a distance, people look at it like, oh, you know, I'm not doing anything illegal. Who cares? But you never know what's going to be used against you in the future. You have no idea. Anyone that's ever been in any kind of relationship. It could be turned around. They know. Anything could be used against you. Right. And, 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 And like. The government, who knows? I'm, I'm just saying, be careful, guys. If you got an Alexa, yeah, be, careful. be careful. But what do you think? Leave a comment on that. Is it important, privacy? Are you willing to give it up for certain features? If so, what kind of things would you give it up for? And if you posted that picture, I'm unfollowing you. Because I, I feel I like you, you only it. posted that picture because you're doing something sketchy, possibly. And I don't want the internet gods to know that I fuck with you. I'm just kidding. I don't care. It's, it's if you posted that's on you, I ain't doing nothing stupid. I don't, I'm not worried about it. But I don't talk about conspiracies anymore in my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I still do. Sure. Why not? I have a rant about conspiracy theorists. We'll talk about it another time. That's going to be next time, man. But hey. It's just a labeling thing. You know what I mean? Damn well, it, you, you have got to me intrigued, you buddy. You have to Damn you. you next episode. In. Next episode. All right. Well, hey, it's been a blast. Good time. Awesome. Until next time, this is the Jared and Brian podcast. I'm Brian. Jared. Cheers.